If you watch this channel, you probably already know that I'm hugely interested in Roblox's history. I mean, I literally have a series called Twisted History. However, while I've talked about many famous places, events, hats, and the such, there is one topic that I have yet to discuss, and one that I've wanted to talk about for a long time. People. See, Roblox is a site that is driven by its people. Without the hard work of so many individuals and teams, we would not have the site nor the games that we have today. So today I'm introducing a new series to this channel called the Roblox Legacy Series, the show where I dive into the background and history of famous Roblox developers, employees, and YouTubers. After all, without them, I wouldn't be making content. So, in honor of this new series, I figured we should start off with a banger. Someone who has had more single influence on the Roblox platform than almost anybody else. Who created some of the most influential features that we still use today. And of course, created some of the longest standing Roblox memes ever. And considering this man was the fourth engineer hired at Roblox back in 2006 and worked there for almost eight entire years, it makes sense. If you still don't know who I'm talking about, I'm talking about John Shedletsky, aka Telemon. Now, considering the fact that this channel mainly focuses on Roblox specifically, I'm not going to go into detail about anybody's personal life, because I just don't think that it's relevant. I'm simply going off what is open knowledge to the public pertaining to Roblox. So, let's start at the very beginning. John Shedletsky, formerly known as Telemon, is the former creative director at Roblox from the years 2006 to 2014. While obviously known for making Sfoth 4 and the swords that go along with that game, Shedletsky made some other famous old games like Nuke, Nuke the Whales. <clears throat> Man, that was... that was a different era. You might be wondering, Max, we already know this, alright? Shedletsky is like an icon to the Roblox community. However, we have to talk about some of the lesser known, yet still very impactful things that Shedletsky did. Being the creative director for a company like Roblox was not such a huge task back then as it is now. Roblox has morphed from a small indie platform to one of the largest metaverses in the world. Yes, I know, get your groans out now, but I remember a time when the term meta and metaverse actually sounded cool. <clears throat> anyway, in the early days of Roblox, when people like Stickmaster Luke and The Gamer 101 were still around, the task of promoting the company was not so much a multi-level marketing strategy designed to reach as many people as possible, but rather a showcase of what Roblox was capable of. And back in 2006, that wasn't really a whole lot. Oh, but that's not all Shedletsky did. On top of doing a majority of Roblox's marketing videos, Shedleski was also the one who implemented the single most common feature that us newer players don't even think about today. One that would then be expanded in the future to include 3D variants, and what really began the monetization of UGC catalog items. Of course, I am talking about shirts and pants. Everyone has already seen the shirts and pants video, but if you haven't, here's a small snippet of it. Pants. And pants. Roblox brings you pants. Shedletsky, along with Stealth Pilot, another very important figure in the Roblox community, created the original shirts and pants promo video. I mean, you think, wow, Max, this seems pretty lackluster if I do say so myself, which to that I say, imagine if you couldn't wear shirts oh, in Roblox. Man. I mean, how many players wouldn't be able to show off their artistic skill if you couldn't literally show it off. Shirts and pants are so important to modern day Roblox. And now with the inclusion of the hilariously implemented 3D clothing, the possibilities for UGC clothes just exploded. Okay, so up until this point, I have simply gone off what is on the wiki page for Shedletsky on Roblox. However, if we really wanna find the full extent of what this guy has done, we need to dig a little bit deeper. And by deeper, I mean his LinkedIn page. <laughs> so, you know, not that deep. Here is where all the juicy details about what he specifically did at Roblox lies. So, what else did he do? Everything. Holy crap, this guy created everything from the character animations for Roblox characters, 3D graphics, 
networking, CAD system development, and the embedded scripting languages APIs, which in layman's terms is basically how the scripts that you write in Roblox Studio talk to the game engine and tell it what to do. On top of that, he also helped make front and back ends of the Roblox website, including things like player advertisements. And you think I'm done? Well, it looks like creative director is more than just marketing, huh? He and Roblox spent upwards of $60,000 a month sometimes to get Roblox on the map. Huge stress there. He worked with the CEO on product development you know, development of the entire Roblox platform and its users. He even hired people to make some of the earliest Roblox games to help show what the platform was capable of. And he was the social media team lead and helped hire developers. So, that brings me back to my original point, being that Shedletsky didn't just do a lot for Roblox, he literally made it. All of it. And while I'm sure he had lots and lots of help, just the sheer amount of features that he made that we use every day is mind-blowing. And yeah, you could say that, oh, Roblox is no longer a small indie company trying to make the best children's platform out there, but there is no denying the fact that without Shedletsky, none of it would have ever happened. So, next time your client bugs out, or the servers go down for the millionth time, or you get some weird, random, unexplainable glitch somewhere, just remember this phrase. Blame John. Literally. Like, you know, because he, he made like 95% of Roblox. <laughs> so that'll do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you click that like button and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. We are so close to getting partner that I can practically taste the gamer sweat already. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'm planning on making it a series like I said before, and I will see you next time. Peace!